Hey, this is Ken, and it's so cool to be back in, uh, in virtual world at least. And I want to just take a few moments to just share some moments in life that, are, that literally stop me in my tracks. And I just go, wow, whoa, wait a minute. And it's, it's those moments where I believe that God is kind of interjecting in our lives and he's always with us, but he makes it very obvious at times. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I do stand up comedy all over the country and I travel a ton. But in my everyday life, it's like, Lord, what do you want to teach me? What do you want to show me? And it's those whoa moments. I was on a plane, a great example, and I'm reading a magazine. And it was just real life stories of people who are going through life. And it totally caught me off guard. This woman and her husband, best salesman in the Fortune 500 company, invited by the president to go to dinner. And they're walking up to this very swank restaurant in their city. And she said the president of the company stops at the door. And they're behind him. And they're like, do we pass him? Do we... Do we stay here? What do we do? And he just stood there and contemplated looking down. And as he looked down, finally he reached down and picked up a penny. And he looked at it and he stared at it for a couple more minutes. It had to be about a minute. She said, God, Tabor was uncomfortable. And finally he puts it in his pocket, opens the door and goes into the restaurant. Well, at dinner, the president said, thank you so much for all your husband does. We so appreciate that. If you have any questions about the company or me or the, your husband's job, please let me know. And she goes, well, I do have a question. And he said, sure, you can ask me anything. And she said, what's up with a penny? And he goes, I'm, I'm sorry, what? She goes, we, we got to the door and you stood there and you look down, and you pick up this penny and you stare for almost a minute. What is up with the penny? And the president of the company just kind of smiled sheepishly and went, wow, I don't even realize I do that anymore. And she said, what, what do you mean? He says, well, the company, when we first got it started, was, was going well, but we hit this downturn and, and things were not going well. And I, I literally just had to get away from the tension in the office. And I went out for a cup of coffee. On the sidewalk to the coffee shop, there was a penny. And, and for some reason, I saw it. And for some reason, something in my, my spirit just said, pick it up. And so I picked up the penny and I went to put it in my pocket. And it was this whisper in my soul that said, what does it say? And he said, I looked and I looked at the penny. I was like, huh, in God we trust. And he said, I'm standing there on a sidewalk. And it was like God's voice in my spirit, not all of it, just said, do you really? Do you really trust me right now with what you're going through right now? And he said, I stood there and I had my coffee and I just stared at this penny going, Lord, here's, here's what's going on. Here's what I'm worried about. Here's what I'm struggling through. And he said, I just had this real conversation with God and I put it in my pocket and he said from that day forward I couldn't help it every time I see a penny I stop and I go okay Lord what am I worried about right now what am I going through and do I really trust you as I read that story on the plane I just went whoa that that's me Lord what am I worried about right now and I just had this really cool moment of engaging God and and trusting him in the areas where I was frustrated. And the verse came to my mind, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on what you understand. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. I hope the next time you find a penny and you look on the ground, you'll stop and say, what am I worried about? What is going on with me? And what do I need to do? The, the president would go on to say he's got a little cup in his, on his dresser and he puts the pennies in this cup and he's got so many he has lost count. I hope we lose count with the number of times that we go, whoa, God, what do you want me to trust you for right now? Whoa moments. I'll see you next time.